Let's do an exercise making use of the Lagrangian form of mass conservation. If a piece of lung tissue has an underformed density of 0.8 grams per centimeter cubed and experiences the following Lagrangian strain field, what is the deformed density of the tissue? Is it A.6, B.7, C.8, D.9, or E1.1? To do this, we first need to calculate C, the right Cauchy Green deformation tensor, from E, the Green's strain tensor. And using C equals 2E plus I, we get that the components of C are 1.4, 0 0.1, 0, 0 0.1, 1.60, 0, 0, 0.6. That gives us that the determinant of C is 0 0.6 times the determinant of this block, which is 1.4 times 1.6 minus 0.1 squared, which is 1.338. Now the determinant of C is the determinant of F transpose F, which is the square of the determinant of f. Therefore, the determinant of f, which is the deformed to undeformed volume ratio, or the undeformed to deformed density ratio, is equal to the square root of 1.338, which is 1.157. Now, if rho naught is 8 grams per centimeter cubed, therefore rho is 0 0.8 divided by 1.157, which is approximately equal to 0 0.7, which is choice B. Let's do an exercise making use of the Eulerian form of mass conservation. If a flow field has a density distribution given by rho equals k times x2 and velocity components given by v equals 2x1, 1, and 0, And whereabouts in the flow field is the flow at steady state? Is it A at x1 equals minus k, B at x2 equals k upon 2, C at x1 plus x2 equals k, D at x2 equals minus 1 half, or E at x1 equals minus 1 half? So to solve this, we make use of the continuity equation for which we will need the divergence of the velocity, which is just 2. So that's del 2x1 with respect to x1 plus 0 plus 0, and the gradient of rho, which will be 0, k, 0. Now, the continuity equation is del rho del t plus the divergence of rho times v is equal to 0. And expanding that, we get del rho del t plus rho times div v plus v dot grad p is equal to zero. Which then gives us that del rho del t plus k times x2 times 2, this divergence of v, plus 1 times k is equal to zero. Now the problem is at steady state when del rho del t is equal to zero, which will mean that 2 times kx2 plus k is equal to zero, which gives us that 2x2 is equal to minus 1, or x2 equals minus 1 half, which was choice D.